Well, hey guys, probably didn't expect to see me this quick. I mean, it's only been a couple days. Was it yesterday? Might have been the other day. So, I made a community post, uh, probably b putting this video out maybe an hour ago. So, let me go ahead and talk about something real quick. So, uh, a couple months ago, uh, I made a video about where I'd done something incredibly stupid um, that put my life on the line, uh, something I shouldn't have done. Um, and, you know, I came out and I told you guys what I'd done. Uh, you know, I, I, ha I took meds, my, my psych meds and blood pressure meds, all those stuff. And I, and Ambien, uh, which I'm on Ambien, um, and I drank alcohol with it. It wasn't really good. Uh, it was really bad, actually, and uh, it's very scary because you're not supposed to do these things. You guys know that I'm very open about mental health stuff. Um, you know, I made a video about Turtle Boy a while back. Uh, he made some kind of comment, uh, and, you know, it set me off. You know, I get triggered by that. So people be like, oh, you're triggered. I do get triggered about mental health stuff quite a bit, quite a bit. Um, I'm very passionate about it. And anyways, I made that video, and Chili reached out to me. And he didn't have to, okay? And this isn't me switching sides or anything. But he reached out and he was concerned about my mental health. And I you know, I posted a picture of the comment he made on the community page. So today I reached out. You know, I, I've been making a lot of content about chili. There's a lot of people doing it. There's a lot of people making chili content. I don't agree with what chili says. I don't. Do I hate the guy? No. Do I think some of the things he says is quite disgusting? Yes, especially when he kind of crossed that line the other day. And it wasn't just kind of. It, he went way past that line. And, you know, I got to thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I was looking at this. You know, Chili has 45,000 followers, subscribers. I don't know, and I'm not going to infer, because I don't know. It just... That's just something I would, I kind of think, and I'm, you know, I'm not going to say it's fact because I don't know. I don't know how legit those are. Um, you know, I do know that things are falling apart on his end. And it's not, it's, you know, it's not that he's not trying. Um, you know, the guy's a hype man. Let, let's, you're probably wondering, well, why is he a hype man? I mean, to get the kind of reaction he does... Uh, from his audience, um, and they still stick with him after what he said. Um, and it's weird, and we, we saw something disgusting, and I posted earlier, one of his uh, subscribers said the same thing about the cancer stuff, um, which was pretty disgusting, right? Really disgusting. And anyways, I reached out. I wrote, He po made a community post or a little short video, and I said, hey, Basically, and I explained, hey, you you need help. You obviously need help. Um, I don't want anything to bad, like, I don't want anything bad to happen to you, Chili. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't. Nobody wants to see you get hurt. I mean, there's probably some people that do, but not really. Nobody wants you to die. Nobody wants bad things to happen to you. Maybe get punished for some of the things you do, and... I know you're you you say you're a first amendment auditor. That's that's fine and dandy. But you have a chance to do something that a lot of people doesn't have a chance to do. You you have all of these connections you say. You have a lot of connections. Um you know, you've been in and out of Hollywood, you've been all over the country. And, you know, you you always say Terry versus Ohio, torture cups, dungeons, uh, piece of shit cops, calling all the cops pieces of shit all bad. They're not. And I know you believe that. And I know that, you know, I, I don't know your psyche. I, I'm not in your head. I don't know what's going through your head when you come to this. But whenever I see you make comments like that, I just picture something really bad going in your head that shouldn't be going on, right? It's a mental health issue. Now I'm I'm reaching out and I and you know this doesn't mean I'm switching sides, Chili. Don't don't get me wrong. 
So don't get me wrong, if you're going to do stupid things, you get stupid prizes. But, but, I think you have a chance to do something good. You know, fuck all this whole suing lawsuit bullshit. I can't talk you out of that. Can't talk. It's, you said it's already in motion. You already set the lawsuits out. And, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I wish you didn't do that. Uh, especially, you know, telling what you're saying, what you're going to do. Um, you know, you, you're, it's kind of like the, the movie cliche where the bad guy tells exactly his whole plan before he ends up getting, uh, you know, tossed out into space. Um, yeah, you shouldn't do that. You honestly shouldn't, but it's a, the mental health shit. Like to me, to me, that's the most important thing. Uh, but let's let's take take a look. My channel has a lot of content based towards you. Like it's true. You take a look. There's a lot of videos in the last five months. There's been a lot of videos about you. Yeah. It you know it is what it is. But you know they get attention. They get a lot of attention. And I mean you got other people has their eyes on you. This is a chance to actually do something insanely good. Now, I, like I said, and I can't stop you. I can't tell you what to do. You're not going to listen to me. Uh, you called me a fat piece of shit on your stream, and I've called you worse. Um, it doesn't hurt me any. But I can see what's going on in your head, like a little bit. I know what it's like to be trapped in your own head. Um... And, you know, I would say this to my worst enemy. Yeah, I might dislike the things you do. You know, I might criticize the things you do and try to get you to stop doing the things you do. But I'm willing to stop for a moment, sit down, talk to you man to man about what's going on in your head. I'm not, I, you know, I'm not a psychiatrist. I, I, I'm not a psychiatrist like you're not a lawyer or a governor. I'm, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not licensed, I would say. But I know what it's like to live in your own head, not wanting to wake up every morning. Um, I know what it's like every day, every day, every day, every day. Most of those, most of those, a lot of that stuff, psych meds. I'm, I've got problems, sweet, sweetie. I'm chilly. I got, I got problems, chilly. You've got problems, chilly. No same person's going to wish cancer on their worst enemies. You know, and you had one of your followers, and I, I know you can't control, just like me, I can't control what anybody else says to you or to your enemies or your detractors or your friends. I can't control that, just like you can't control yours. Um, now, I posted another, I posted a community post of one of your people wishing brain cancer, testicular cancer, uh, colon cancer on Josh, Kate, and Team Skeptic. That's pretty fucking terrible. Pretty bad. And, you know, you saying you wish the kids to get bone cancer or other people that supported uh, Kate. Now, I, I know you, you've got these, you, you hate Kate. You hate Josh. You hate Team Skeptic. You hate me. You hate Blue Bacon. You hate everybody but does it. I don't hate you, Chili. I really don't. I don't. Uh, I dislike you. I dislike the things you do. Do I think you uh, could change things? Everybody has a chance to change things. Um, you know, you can you can always, you know, you meet a wild dog. Sometimes you can domesticate a wild dog. Sometimes you can't. Um, you know, sometimes you can reach out a hand and the dog will come up to you and either A, it's going to bite your hand off or B, accept you and allow you to pet the dog. And I know it's a, a weird fucking concept, um, especially coming from me. I, you know, I'm my own worst enemy. Just like I'm seeing you, you're your own worst enemy. Uh, I think. Do I think you have? Uh, I think you have confidence. I think you do. You know, a lot of people see that you have confidence. 
you, you, you think you're doing something right. You know, I don't know if it's right or if it's wrong. I don't agree with it. But I guess that's what you believe in. But I, I don't think I, you know, and this might be me from a clear lack of understanding about the First Amendment auditor community. Um, you know, I don't agree with it. Like, I, you know, I think the people who put on that uniform and that badge, uh, most of them, you know, want to do something good for their communities. Does it mean there's all good cops and all bad cops? No, fuck no. I mean, it's like that with every occupation. But I do think that, you know, you paint in a picture that all these people that has a badge are out to stick their thumbs up your ass. That's, that's not how it is. You know, I, I, I read a story. Um, somebody sent me an email, I think it was yesterday or the day before, about this uh, cop. She was, uh, she was a part of the K-9 unit. She was getting ready to get married. She pulled, up a pers- pulled over a person, I believe, I think it was a narcotics stop, and ended up getting shot, and she died. Just, I think it was right before her wedding. Um, you know, and would restraints, if she was able to get restraints on this person, you say torture cuffs, but if she was able to get restraints on this person, things would have been different. Things would have changed. That, that lady, um, she, she was so pretty. So pretty. And, you know, you could tell people loved her. You know, she's dead now. She doesn't get to get married. And the guy that, you know, killed her, like... It's awful. It's really awful. I'm, I, and I, you know, that's what I think about the First Amendment. Odd, and like I said, I don't think all you guys are bad. Um, I don't. I don't think you guys... M- m- all of you are bad. Um, I think some of you guys really want to change things. I think you do. I think you really do. Um, and, uh, you know, I have people who say the same thing. I, I know cops that would say the same thing. I, you know, I, I think some of these people, you know, are in it for the right reasons. But some people aren't. They're in for it to get the reaction. Um, you know, it's, it's entertaining for, to watch somebody say fuck you to a cop whenever, you know, they don't want to do that. You know, I personally am not going to tell a cop to fuck off. Um, you know, I might stand up for my rights and stuff. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, that person behind that badge is just like you and I. But, but like I said, does that mean there's good cops and bad cops? Definitely. Definitely. Some people do it for power. Some do it for glory. And I know that's kind of weird and cheesy. But Chili... <laughs> Think about it. Think about this. I I can't change your mind. I can't sway you. You probably have your mindset. You're fifty. You're nearly fifty years old. Um, you, you could really, if you're going across country, and you have these people paying attention to you, you might be able to stop that person that's sitting there by themselves with a gun in their hand, ready to end it. I wish I was able to have done that a while, a few years ago. I wish I was able to stop that. I really do. And I, this is a message to all of you guys. All you guys. Even if I hate you, the only thing I'm not going to stand up for is a rapist, a pedophile, and a murderer. You know, I, I don't want to associate with that stuff. I don't. And you hear my cat in the background. Um, but I'm willing to talk to you, even if you dislike me, even if you hate me, even if you think I'm the biggest piece of shit on the planet. I'm willing to sit down, talk to you, and try to help you out the best I can. Like I said, I'm not a licensed person. I don't have a license. Um, all I have is experience. That's all I've got. Um, but does this mean I'm done ragging on you? I'm not. I'm not. I'm still going to rag on you. Even said that in that comment I posted on my community page. You said you look forward to my best trolling. So I'm going to keep my end of the bargain. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to take it easy on you, but I will talk to you. I will help you. 
and it's what it is. And guys, I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm switching sides or uh, this is um, me selling out. This is what I believe in. Uh, the core tenets of this channel has always been the main thing has been about mental health. And it's always going to be that way. It doesn't mean that matter if I'm ragging on Chili, some First Amendment auditors, my video games, my movies, my fatness. It's always going to be that core tenet of mental health. You know, I don't care if you're Turtle Boy. I don't care if you're Chili. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't care if you want to talk and you need help. Just fucking reach out to me. The the most I can say is fuck off. And I'm probably not. If you really need help, if you really want somebody... I'm not a bad guy, dude. I'm not. Really not. I don't think I am. Uh, there's some people that think I'm a bad guy because, you know, I I have different beliefs than a lot of people. Like, a, you know, politically, figuratively. Um, but like me, I like you guys, I hope you guys care about, you know, equality, freedom of speech, uh, love is love, all that stuff, uh, human rights, everything. I, that's what I believe in. Uh, I don't. I don't cast. I'm not casting hate on any particular group. It's just not happening. Um, but it's a mental health thing, and I'm sorry this is sappy. I really am. Um, I want to thank you guys for helping me reach. We're over 2,100 followers, subscribers. That's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Um, it makes me want to cry a little bit. You know, it's. I'm telling you, it's, it's fucking great. Um, hopefully, we can keep on going. Maybe, maybe we'll hit 10,000, 100,000, 1 million. Um, but the, the best thing we can do, guys, um, if you know somebody that's got mental health issues, somebody you see is about to fucking burst, stop them. Talk to them, even if you disagree with them. Even if you hate them. Talk to them. The last thing you want is somebody dead. Uh, I don't want that. I don't want that to happen to you guys. I don't want it to happen to Chile. I don't want it to happen to anybody. I really don't. I really don't want to. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, I hope you did. Tell me what you guys are thankful for. Tell me what you guys have done recently to help somebody that's in need of help. Uh, I'd like to know. I'd like to hear your stories. Um, if you hate me, tell, tell me you hate me, I guess. Uh, if you want to call me fat, that's fine, too. But, again, I love you guys very much. I hope you guys subscribe. And um, don't wish cancer on people. Don't fucking do that. Don't, don't do that. Be thankful. All that shit. See you guys.